fetal medicine is a team work which comprises of obstetricians and gynecologist the fetal imagologist and the pediatricians including the neonatologist this specialty is a recent onset with a single focus of the well-being of the fetus in mind so what does the fetal medicine specialist do the fetal medicine specialist has three roles the first is that of a fetal imaging the second is that of basic genetic counseling and third is suggestions to the obstetricians the neonatologist the pediatricians as well as counseling the patients as and when required when the pregnant mother comes the from the early pregnancy scan to till the time the baby is delivered i will be doing the fetal imaging which will primarily consists of ultrasound so in the fetal imaging we do multiple scans which will be first will be the early pregnancy scan followed by the nuchal translucency or the nt scan which is also the earliest genetic ultrasound which is done following this at around 19 weeks we do a detailed anomaly scan and a targeted scan at around 23 to 24 weeks depending on the requirement of the fetus the further scans will be done as and when required for the assessment of the growth of the fetus to look for some conditions called as intrauterine growth retardation the genetic counseling regarding the fetus well being presence or absence of any chromosomal abnormalities and i will be counseling the couple how to proceed with the pregnancy and what are the further tests or imagings or invasive procedures which may be required and how to go about doing that invasive testings like chorionic villus sampling the amniocentesis fetal cord blood sampling fetal transfusions these are the basic interventions which can be done <clears throat> the second part important point is at every scan which is done we will be counseling the couple as to what is the present state of the baby and what should be done further this is always done as a team work with the uh, obstetricians and the gynecologist as well as the pediatricians or the neonatologist who will be handling the baby as and when it is required these become important especially the growth scans the anomaly scans these become important today's time where we do see the number of pregnancies for every mother being less and the age of the mother also advancing so this generally tends to increase the incidence of chromosomal abnormalities as well as the maternal complications like maternal diabetes maternal blood pressure which will also have a say on the baby in apollo sheshadripuram we do have a set of senior gynecologists and obstetricians along with a senior uh, neonatological team which will cater to the effective and best control possible for the mother as well as the fetus thank you jayan